You can make an amazing HF antenna out of this and a little bit of this. I want to show you how. Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO, currently operating in Poland as Sierra Papa stroke K4OGO. You know, I see a lot of comments sometimes, you know, when I do a video on an antenna and they're like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting ready to get my general if they're an American or, or some of them are comments are like, yeah, I want to get into HF. I just can't afford an antenna or I haven't purchased my antenna yet or I need to get an antenna. I want to show you a way to put an antenna up super dirt cheap. And this is probably one of the most effective antennas you can make for a vertical antenna. You know, dipoles are so easy to make, and I highly suggest if you can put one of those up, try that. But for a pure vertical antenna, a quarter weight ground plane is an easy antenna to build. And you can do it fairly inexpensively. I put together a plan and, and showed some um, lengths of wires to cut these uh, for the vertical wires. I know there's a there's a formula here. I got it right here. Let's see. Uh, to get a quarter wave um, in meters, you have 300 divided by the frequency times uh, 0.25 times 0.96. That'll get it to you in meters. Let's see. To get uh, into the U.S., let's see, you would have to take the meters, uh, turn that into uh, millimeters, divide it by 25.4, and then divide it by 12, and that'll get you feet. Yeah, right. Pain in the butt. Um, there's an easier way to do it. Um, what I do is uh, there's a, an app. There's so many apps. There's an app that I found on, for my Apple product called Antenna Tool. And you can just dial up the, the frequency that you want to use. And it'll give you uh, eighth, quarter, three eighths, basically every length you want for a, for a wire. I'm going to build a, a, about, about three different uh, types, three different antennas actually, or use three different vertical elements on mine. What I'm going to do is use this wire that I get. I, I buy it in the U.S. I'm sure it's available uh, elsewhere, but in the U.S. we have Walmart, which uh, dominates uh, the retail world. And you can get this, this speaker wire, monster speaker wire. It's about $16.99 U.S. dollars. So it's 16 gauge. You get 100 feet of it for $16.99, which really means you got 200 feet when you split it in half. Um, with that, I'm going to use what I do is on Amazon, these things are super cheap. You can get these banana clips, and um, they're nothing. I mean, they are dirt cheap. A BNC is what I use. You can go a different route if you want, but a BNC banana clip um, that, that I use to attach the, uh, the wire to. Um, with that said, what do I put it up on? Well, there's some great, um, what we call in the U.S. is crappie poles, or uh, I think in Australia you guys call them squid poles in other parts of the world. But it's just a telescopic um, pole for fishing, and uh, I love to use them. I've got three of them here in Poland. Every time I come over, I throw one in my suitcase <clears throat> and bring it with me. I've got a couple seven-meter poles and a five-meter pole. They're cheap, they're lightweight, and um, to me, they're almost disposable. I mean, not really. I want to hold on to them as long as I can, but they're not super expensive. So with the pole and the wire and the, and the banana clip, you pretty much got something to, uh, to, to build an antenna with. There is something that's fairly inexpensive I use. You could use a piece of PVC pipe and, and knock it in the ground and stick the pole in it. But I've found these um, beach umbrella holders that I use. I use them on the beach and I've got, once again, I brought a couple of these here because they were like, you know, 10, 11, 12 bucks uh, US dollars. And they, they, they just spiral right into the ground and you can put them in the ground to support the antenna. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to cut with the wires. I'm going to put five counterpoise wires down that are somewhat about a quarter wavelength for 20 meters. I'm going to cut a driven element for 20 meters. And hopefully that'll give me 20 and 17. I'm going to cut another driven element for 15 meters, a quarter wave for 15 meters. And hopefully I can use the ATU and that'll get me 15 and 12. And then I'm going to cut one for the 10 meter band. So here, stick around. I'll show you. I'll put this thing together and show you this antenna up. And then we'll see what we can do. We'll put it in action. Okay, here's the antenna. There it is, the seven meter pole. I have the uh, 
20 meter band wire on it. It's the uh, coax coming down from the second floor. Look up here and get a closer look. You can see my uh, counterpoise wires down there in a the star, the five counterpoise wires. Here's the hookup. There's the uh, umbrella spike. Here's uh, the banana clip with my one-to-one -one ballon. I did take electrical tape and, and completely enclose it and taped over it because we are supposed to have some weather. Here's the uh, speaker wire taped on the pole, as you can see. Up, it's about five meters wire. That's a seven meter pole. So it's pretty good, it's pretty straight. The top flimsy part of the pole is not affecting it at all. So in pretty good shape. That's it, you can see my wires out. I didn't get out here and be very accurate, but it's in a star, pretty close to, I think I was looking for about 72 degrees each. Now there's the extra, you wanna take a good look at it. The spike, I got two more poles here. So what I did to make things quick and easy for me, this one here, the green one on the left, has the 15 meter resonant wire that I'm gonna try to use on 15 and 12. This old pole here has the 10 meter one on it. This pole went through a storm last winter here. As a matter of fact, I've had these poles here now for a while. Each trip I kind of bring and leave stuff. You can see where I did a little repair job where it broke, but I'll put these aside. So if I want to switch from the 20 and 17 meters, I can go and just switch the pole out, keep the counterpoise right where they're at, everything in place and have some fun. But that's the uh, setup here for a few days. I really wanted to go with a vertical just to see what I could do. I've done some verticals here before and had some really good success with them. So looking forward to uh, seeing how this vertical works out. And hopefully you can see this is a, I call it a dirt cheap way to get on the air, but it's a really good way too. These things perform well. It's hopefully here I'm gonna show you. Okay, the antenna was up. I had the thing up and ready to roll. And um, yeah, SWR on this thing uh, on all for 2015 and 10 was rock solid. I mean, right on because naturally it should be. It's cut uh, for a resonant for those bands. But, um, you know, I had a little issue this weekend and it wasn't the um, here. I'm here operating in Europe, but it wasn't the uh, antenna that was the issue for me to get out. It was what was going on around me over in France. They had a, a French contest, and um, yeah, here you go. Thank you, thank you, contest. Tango, Mexico, three, papa. Thank you, thank you, contest. Fox, track four, hotel, thank you. Thank you, thank you, France. Italy, zero, two, zero, queen, papa, cinco, contest. Flight at six, kilo, star, papa. Flight at six, kilo, star, papa, contest. Thank you, contest, thank you, contest. Florida, six, kilo, watts, November, bravo. Regardless of the contest, um, I still got out and made some wonderful contacts. I want to show you one or two maybe on each band from uh, 2017, 15, 12, and 10, just to show you that um, these, these antennas work well. Here, here's just a few. Uh, this won't be a long grinding out QSO after QSO video. I just want to give you a feel for how good this cheap piece of wire up a pole, what it could do for you. Unbelievable, 20 watts. My gratulation. You can clap. You can hear my hands clapping, no? Wonderful, no? So I thought the kilo four, wow, no? So doing a great job, really. So over there. Thank you, Volta. Great having you on the band. Um, and my good gig, uh, by the way, is uh, northeast of uh, Salzburg in uh, the sound of music area. And uh, it's called uh, South Kamakut. And I work with a long wire antenna, a high end feed, 40 meter long and 7 meter above the ground and with uh, 100 risky. And also I've got the ICOM 7300 transceiver and the microphone to it, the ICOM SM50. So uh, this time I'm working for this here in Austria. Microphone back to you, get a part of Joe, Kilo 4, Oscar Bobo, and this is Oscar for 5. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so I understood. Uh, I was in the uh, 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 u
Afghan Gulf or skies, okay, Walter? Uh, QSL, QSL, thanks for taking the call here. Just 20 watts here, 20 watts with a, a vertical wire here. It's actually a, a 20 meter vertical using the ATU to tune it here. So thank you so much for taking the call. Thank you so much. Very good indeed. 20 watts, 5728. Using here ICOM 7800, 200 watts. XB Mantera Walter. Thank you so much for the call. B73, happy time. Sierra Papa Stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Echo Alpha 3, Alpha Hotel, Hotel Clear. Bye bye. QSL, Sugar Papa Stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Thank you. You are 5 and 7, uh, 57. Uh, QSL, QSL, you are 5 8 into the north of Poland. Thank you for the new band. We worked before back in August on the 20 meter band. Good to get you in the log. Thank you so much. Yeah, QSL, thank you for the new band. Thank you, Walter, for listening to my call. And I hope to catch you in another band. Sugar Papa slash Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. This is Echo Charlie 6 Delta XY. Bye bye, 73. 73, bye bye. Bye bye, 5 9 plus last over. This is Echo Charlie 6 Delta XY, CQ 15. Good afternoon, Walter. Oh, good morning to you, Walter. You are, uh, you are 5 and 9 here in the island of the Oka world. Uh, good copy. Um, my handle is Ernie. Um, I am located in the island of Minoka, in the northern side of the bar. I catch you there. Let's see, dash K4 Oscar Golf Oscar, uh, 2006 Mike Romeo. Sierra Papa Stroke for Oscar. No, thank you. You call 57, copy. 57, copy in Valencia, Spain, Mane Pablo. Well, that's it. Um, I hope I inspired you to, you know, even if you have many antennas and you've never built a vertical, get an experiment. That's what amateur radio is all about. This is a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I am so blessed that I'm in a situation here while I'm overseas to, um, to build different antennas and have fun, play around, experiment. You know, you can read all the theory and, and, and you can even watch all these YouTube videos that you want to watch. But getting out and doing it is really what it's all about. And I, I, I really, I hope I inspire you to go out and do that. Build these antennas. Um, build, build other things. It's a lot of fun. I've done so many different, uh, just, I, you get an idea, just go out and do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you like to see someone play around with antennas and learn a little bit while I'm doing it, I'm, I'm not an expert. I'm learning as I go along and I like to document it. If you enjoy that, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Walt in Poland. Sierra Papa, stroke Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. 73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.